Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I export images from Photoshop to be shared on social media platforms like Instagram, WhatsApp or Facebook and still maintain the same quality that I get when editing the pictures. So please stay tuned and let's dive right into it. But before then, my name is Paul Dissey and I'm a professional wedding photographer right here in Ghana. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you find this video useful to share, like, and then comment in the comment section below. It will help me a lot. And your next question could be my next video. So please leave a comment for me. So let's dive right into the video. So guys, we are back in Photoshop and we have this beautiful image of a client that shot recently and we want to use this image as a practice image so as you can see clearly this image is super sharp i shot it with my nikon z6 and then 85 mm 1.8 and i've processed it edited it retouched it and it's ready to be shared but how do i get it to be super sharp when i share on social media like instagram or whatsapp so i'll go to file then i'll go to export and then i'll choose save for web legacy so just choose the save for web legacy and then this pop-up window will appear right here showing the image zoomed in this is at 100 percent i guess as you can see over here this 100 percent so here is what is important you get it but before then make sure that here is jpeg you have chosen jpeg and then i usually keep it at high and then optimized so the quality is at 60 that is okay enough to reduce the size but still maintain the quality that is needed and then i come to the image size and make sure that this this small checkbox here is checked so that any change you make to this side will affect the height as well so make sure it is changed so usually what i choose is 1600 for every image the reason being that even though instagram outputs 1080 the the width to be 1080 and then the height to be whatever the length of the image is screens are becoming a lot more dense to its pixels so i just keep it at 1006 so that in case someone's screen is bigger than what I am using at the point in time or something like that, the person can still get very sharp image on his or her tablet or a smartphone. So 1600 is okay. And then again, if I want to print this image and I don't have the original large size available at the point in time, I can easily print the 1600 by 2000 pixels and the results will be fine. So this is it. And then you just click on save so click on save it will open your um, how do you call it the folder for you where you want to save it so in this case maybe I want to name it as um, sharpen for YouTube something like that then I'll just click on save and then it will save for me so if I go back to that folder and I look for sharpen there's it over here now you can preview it so that the quality is still there but now if i transfer it to my mobile phone the quality will be a lot sharper if i share through social media platform so that's it guys it's very simple but very very important if you just go ahead and then share the large image over here like that your client will receive it and then the social media platforms will undergo their own compression and then downgrade the image to like the best possible to them and that will be very bad for you and your client so just do it this way and then you are good to go okay guys so that was it i hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something and it's as simple as that please share like subscribe if you are new here and then leave a comment in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace